Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton Hearst and today's happy is we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. So we're a little bit behind in our cut flower department, getting all of our orders out for tomorrow. So I thought I would come in and try to help out what little bit I can. And we're gonna actually make what's one of our specials at Tipton Hearst called Autumn Leaves, which is gonna go in these really cool bark covered containers. And I'm actually gonna make four of them for you all at one time. So what we'll do first, let me go and show you what's all going to go in it. That might help a little bit, right? So we're going to have some grevillea, which is this foliage. We're going to do some broom corn, which that goes over there. Some sea eucalyptus, a little bit of green pit, which is this or pit forum, and then some huckleberry. And then flower wise, it's going to have four of these, and Christine, you haven't seen these yet. These are called Carbella. Oh, so pretty. It's, it, it almost looks like that country variety, doesn't it? With yeah, it really big does. Heart series in it. Is that kind of what it's in or not? It must be because of the way it's formed, the ro rose looks like. We're gonna have one vintage hydrangea. We're gonna have two spray roses, two pieces of kale, three, da three dahlias, in the maroon and then we're going to do two palms oops and four pieces of hybricum or st john's ward or coffee berry so i'm going to green them all in at one time first and then we'll go back and start putting all the flowers in how's that sound sounds like a plan stan. sounds like a plan stan so how is everybody out there we have a lot of happy family members on today. Oh. Miss Dawn said, hey, Chris. Hey, hello. Miss Janice uh, said, happy Monday from Texas. Miss Sharon said, good afternoon. Great. We have family from South Carolina, Michigan. Somebody said, beautiful colors, Poland, San Antonio. Awesome. Lots of people saying, beautiful roses. Miss Janie from Mississippi. Great. Miss Walters from Oregon. So Miss Janelle said hello from St. Angelo, Texas. Guess what, Miss Janelle? I'm coming to see you at the end of December. My mom got my flight today, so oh. that's one of my Christmas presents. Cool. So maybe I'll see you when I'm there. Perfect. Miss Lori from Alabama. Miss Joanne said she's on her way to see us. I know. She gave us a note that she was going to be around a little late today, so she said she'd see us tomorrow, which actually I think that is going to turn out a lot better for it us. It will for yeah. sure. Yeah. Because we, we were out earlier today. We were, and we got to go back out again. So, after this. So, anyway, when we had a really, really busy weekend with a lot of family members coming from all over. We did. I was shocked. We had people from West, was it, no, what? Indiana. West, Indiana. That's the only one I got to see. I was Indiana, out doing the wedding. Louisiana, and, uh, oh gosh, let me think. I'll, I'll come up with it. We had three different groups come in. I was just like, oh, Louisiana, Indiana, Indiana. and Oklahoma City. That's just crazy. Yeah. We love seeing y'all, Yeah, we though. do. We do. So we have family members from Indiana, Wyoming, Colorado, Ireland, Kentucky, Missouri, the West Coast, Australia, Hot Springs. I was kind of shocked. Pam from Indiana said that they had made a trip out of it. And they'd went to Laurel, Mississippi first and got to see Ben at, at, the, at the lumber yard. And then they'd come to see us. I was kind of like, well, mercy me. I never thought we'd be in the same realm as Ben. So anyway. Miss Anne-Marie said she's not doing well tonight. She's waiting on her COVID test. Oh, gosh. Well, we're thinking oh, about you. Okay. Yeah, we've, it's a day in, day out thing, let me tell you. Miss Kay says we're very entertaining. <laughs> Y'all should see us just normally. <laughs> Whew, it is a comedy show. Yeah, something like that. Some kind of show. Anyway. <laughs> so. Miss Sandra said she's in Little Rock today. Hopefully she can get by to see us. Well, come on. Well, come on. We'll be here for a little bit longer. We've got to do another little pre-tape for Channel 7. And then I've got to scoot downtown to check on a job that we started yesterday. And we're going to... Uh, Saturday. Saturday didn't count. Anyway, we're going to try to finish it up today. It's a new job. A we new have a job. few people saying that they are burning their Christmas tree with candles oh right now. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, we've actually sold out of all the 25. Did we it? really? Wow. I mean, I can't believe it. We did. We sold out, and I've got to start on that again next year because I don't have the 
anyone to do them now. Everybody's so busy. Miss Denise said, OMG, am I finally watching you guys live? She said, love you from Green Bay, Wisconsin. How fun. Well, welcome, Green Bay, Wisconsin. So, oh, did I tell you about Mr. Peggy, Miss Peggy? Oh, you did. Yeah. Yep. And Hi, I haven't seen her on. Uh, happy so. family, everyone that started out with us. Everyone knows Miss Peggy from McCrory. Her husband, who is actually my third cousin, Mr. Gerald, brother, I call him Brother Gerald, passed away Saturday, so if y'all could just remember her in your prayers. And she is, like, always on always watching. On. So always on. Y'all will have definitely seen Miss Peggy on there. Yeah, so, yeah. He was my mom's first cousin. Hmm. Yep. He and my grandmother, my grandmother and his mother were sisters. They had, like, 12, well... You know, back then you had big, big, big families. We all helped each other, too. Miss Pam said, thanks, Chris, for the shout-out. There you we go. We saw Miss Pam. There, there's Miss yep. Pam. There's Miss Pam. She's kind of stalking me around town. Right? And she <laughs> was. I think she was stalking you. Just kidding. <laughs> Just teasing. It was funny. I looked up, and they were down. When we started that job downtown, she, they were coming. I think they went to, I'm not sure. Did they get to go to see the Clinton Library and all that stuff when they were downtown? Maybe they did. I'm not sure. She did check out the bunny. She went and looked at the bunny. I was oh, I drove by and saw him at the bunny. So that's shout, that's when I said, "What are y'all doing?" She said, "Gotta check out the bunny." So, so I've greened these in, and I'm gonna wait and use my grevillea last. So let's start putting our flowers in. So let's go back and add our hydrangea. We have a lots of people that are sending their prayers and blessings to Miss Peggy. So I hope that she feels that. Yeah. She's a sweet, sweet lady. And then, let's see. Miss Barbara said, COVID is keeping us from seeing girls and families in Georgia and Florida, but they loved the boxes that we sent. She's from uh, West Virginia. Oh, awesome. And she ordered a lot of stuff from the Comet Sold, and she ordered twos of everything, and we sent them right. to each of her daughters. Right, I saw that. It was a great idea. Just spread the wealth, right? Somebody else said they love their 25 candle. Well, apparently a lot of people did because it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> apparently everybody did. <laughs> it's gone until we find someone else that can make them because the person that was making them, she says she doesn't have time to do that right now, so we're going to have to figure out a new plan, right? That's right. So now I'm going to go back and add my broom corn. Broom corn, broom corn. I need a little bit more space. Be well, here's two more broom corn down here. Well, I guess right so there with the grevillea. Oh, you're right. Thank you. We'll put those in there. And do you want to mention again? We have had a few people message us about if they're going to be alone for Thanksgiving, but right. for other people that didn't hear yeah. us say that the first time, we would love to, or I'm going to um, actually give you a call. I hate, I, I've always thought, I mean, the, people said something to me about it. and like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I just can't imagine my grandparents being at home alone. So, and, you know, day in, day out, you get to learn to know somebody. And why not? Let's just all, matter of fact, I kind of challenge everybody. That if you know somebody that's home by themselves or doesn't have family with them, give them a call. Let's all spread the little bit of cheer on Thanksgiving. Be thankful for what we have, right? That's right. Oh, goodness. What? Miss Myra said, Bunny, did I miss decorating it for no, this season? No, you did not miss no. it. No. Miss Pam was checking it out to see if I had decorated the bunny, I think. So. And the answer was no. <laughs> nope. That would be not. Uh-uh. Not yet. Y'all, I tried to talk him into uh, doing the happy off-site today, mm -mm. and I did not convince him, as no. y'all can tell. Mm -mm. Got too much to do before I have to leave. Anytime we get out of the store, it's normally <laughs> quite a long time before we get back. So we are trying to be as efficient with our time as possible, right, That's Christina? That's right. Miss Donna said she almost missed us. Oh my goodness. But she's here. Well, great. You probably can't see the forest for all the trees right now, can you? Uh, kind of close. Kind of close. Well, let me 
The more I do, the more I insert, the less the, 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 the cleaner the table will get. How's Ms. that? Ms. Debra said that you have inspired her to call a couple of people that she knows will be alone for Thanksgiving. Well, please do. It's, what's it gonna, and I, I've got a couple on there and I hope I don't miss anybody. That's my biggest fear is I'm gonna miss somebody. I'll go back and we'll make sure. Okay, make sure there's a list. We have Miss Melinda watching from Oklahoma. Awesome. Miss Mary Gale says that she has not gotten her stuff from the Comet Sold. Um, I did not help fulfill Comet Sold this past week, so if you haven't received your stuff, why don't you message us? Because yeah, that probably yeah. should not, you should have already gotten yours, so yeah. well, we'll check on that. A few things that went out this Was there some week. that went out this morning, maybe? Um, I don't know this morning, but they went out like Friday, I believe. Okay, but we'll check on yours to yeah. make sure. Yeah. Of course, we have people asking, Are we? when are we decorating the bunny for Christmas? Huh? When are we going to decorate the bunny for Christmas? Uh, we don't know yet. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Do we deliver to Win, Arkansas? We do not deliver to Win. Um... Unless it's like a special or like a casket piece or something like that. And then generally, it, you know, I have delivered to Wynn before. You know, Wynn is only 20 miles away from where Corey from Ray's. So I definitely know where Wynn is, right? That's right. What is this container made of? It's a glass container that's covered in bark. So, um, Let's spin that around. Miss Gail says that she knows that we're very busy right now, but she does miss the daily happy and she appreciates it that we can do it when we have time. Yeah. Well, we miss it too. But some days I look up and think, how in the world did we do that like we did it, right? That's right. <laughs> Miss Barbie oh. said she saw Chris's photo in Democrat Gazette decorating a restaurant. Oh, was that in their dish? I didn't know it. I didn't see it. They I did, didn't look at it. They them. did come down and take some pictures yesterday. The Arkansas Democrat Okay, Gazette well, there did. you go. I didn't so, see it. We'll have well, to look. Well, we have newspaper upstairs. So. Do we? Okay. Yeah, they um, came in. They they were low. They were apparently low on things to to photo to uh, po Oh, to whatever. <laughs> to you don't give yourself <laughs> enough credit. Stop it. So, so anyway. Okay, so we have a, quite a few people saying they have not received their boxes. So if you haven't, message us just so we can make sure yeah, and, and we'll, we'll let you know why. Over. Yeah. Why you haven't you know, gotten I it or think, what's going on? Honestly, I just think that people are just overwhelmed with shipping stuff right now. Just. Mr. So. Guy said Hotty Toddy beat Mississippi State week. I forgot that it was Mississippi State Ole Miss weekend. Oh my goodness. I think we play on Saturday. Yeah. We used to play on Thanksgiving. The Razorbacks but. lost to LSU. Wah, I called wah, Andrew, your son. Oh, you when did. it was almost over, I was kind of nervous and he was like, We're about to lose. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, I just need to ask you a quick question. <laughs> He's a devoted Arkansas fan, so I was very nervous. <laughs> Everyone said that these are beautiful colors. Well, good. I'm going to miss that one there. So I'm going back. Generally, what I would do, if I had more space, I would put all the same flowers mm -hmm. in at the same time. I mean, I'd put all my roses in at once. Then I'd go back and put all my spray roses in next. It, that, you know, so it's a lot of repetition. And that way, a lot of times, you're able to make sure that it looks, they all look the same once they're done. But with my space requirement because I can't walk around the table like I normally would do I'm having to do a little hit or miss here right that's right Miss Susan said the egg bowl my daughter went to Ole Miss I went to Ole Miss too so I am aware and whew. we'll see how it goes see how it goes lots of people are saying this is just a beautiful arrangement oh good this is part of our fall collection on our website and this one is the autumn leaves miss davidson asked is this for an order for orders it will be yeah. <laughs> it is for orders i think we're missing the pincushion protea aren't in yet 
Oh, they're not in yet. Mm -hmm. So when they get here, when they get them processed, we'll put those in too. I'm excited yeah. to see the dahlias in this. Yep. So Miss Ronnie said in. that her husband just brought her flowers oh. of this color. Well, how fun. We'll add a little bit of grevillea now to each one of them. Everyone's saying breathtaking, just beautiful, that oh, it's good. awesome. Well, good. We have someone asking about the next comet sold. Um, it's going to be probably next week. We've just got to get the product together. I've already started thinking in my head what we need to do. Oh, I found that broom corner I was looking for. Miss June said, beautiful as always, happiness shared from Australia. Oh, awesome. Miss Elaine said, happy Thanksgiving to all fellow happy friends. Are you putting these in a vase with like an open vase or does it have foam in it? No foam. It's all open vase. I very, very, very rarely use foam. Um, when I do, it's like in large party work, like in a dish, you know, like we do a lot of dish design, you know, as far as event work. Or <laughs> I um, do it. But in general, if you can do th things that just in loosen water, the flowers are going to last so much longer because there's always a good reservoir of water, as long as you put water in the vase, of course, but it helps the longevity of the flowers. So Miss Joanne from Ontario said that it's funny watching us make fall arrangements when they're digging out 20 centimeters of snow dump yesterday. Well, this will be the end of it. I mean, nobody wants fall flowers after Thanksgiving, but so this now, is the last is our, week. now is our push, right? That's right. Ms. Sandra right. asked, where am I from? Because there's days in Damascus and Dumas. And I know them down there, Olivia Day, but I, that's not me. We're from South Mississippi. And we won't hold that against you. <laughs> we won't. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Miss Lorraine Lorraine said, I'm trying to be sad for y'all's loss Saturday, but I'm a crazy LSU fan. Oh, don't, we're not even talking about it because we're just not going to talk about it. My mom always said, if you ain't got something nice to say, don't say nothing at all, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Miss Sarah said she's using these beautiful colors for Thanksgiving, but she's using a silver vase and candlesticks. Okay. Everyone's telling awesome. everyone happy Thanksgiving. Lovely. Miss Oswalt said Oxford here. Hello. Hello. It was fun we went down there to do your sister's wedding. It was. It's a great, they put up all the Christmas lights on the square yesterday. Oh, really? Or day before yesterday. Sometime. And so I'm seeing all these pictures. And I think I'm, I need to go I'm visit. sure I'm the only person that's ever been lost on the square. It, <laughs> Sober, lost on the square. Lost on the square. Lost on the square, but he was sober. <laughs> That's the very truth. I just got like a little rat. I just kept going round and round and I round. I really and wish round. that I could have seen it because I can only imagine. <laughs> and I stopped the police. I stopped this bunch of policemen. I said, you ain't going to believe this, but I can't find my way back to the hotel. And I'm not drunk. And they're like, mm-hmm, yeah, uh-huh. And like, there's... Man, Mr. Chris. I just couldn't see. You just couldn't see. That was fun. Good memories. Yeah, yeah it was great memories. Everyone's saying that these are beautiful. Awesome. Everyone's telling each other happy Thanksgiving. Well, I think good. that's so great. And you know, this week I have chosen to be thankful for one person each day. So I'm gonna like call that person, you know, tell them I'm thankful for them oh, and blah blah blah. Well, that's and so sweet. I think that that's great that our family is telling each other happy Thanksgiving, yep. you know. So now let's go back and put our dahlias or dahlias in, as I call them. So I'm just going to kind of block those together. Da -da. They're going to go toward the middle. So we've got all this other color out to the edge. Oh, I like love that. those in there. Miss Michelle said, hello, it's been a while since she's been on here to say hi and happy Thanksgiving. Oh, great. Well, we're glad you're back. Oh, not that one. 
Wah, wah, wah. I just popped all the petals off of it. And we'll be on Wednesday, too. Oh, yeah. So we'll have one more chance to tell everyone Happy Thanksgiving. That's right. Everyone's really loving these vases, too. They are kind of they cool. They are really they? cool for yeah, they fall. They are really cool. And that, another great thing about them, they don't show when water gets a little murky from not being changed. Not because I'm sure everybody changes their water. Oops, I dropped my knife and I was just covered. Uh, every day, right? Every day. Every day. Oh, there's that other. Will we be on any more this week? Yes. We'll be on on Wednesday and Friday. That's right. Everyone's saying that this is just beautiful work. As usual, it's beautiful. Great. Miss Linda said that she is thankful for these happies, and especially you and I. Well, thank well, you. We're, we're thankful we're, for y'all. We exactly. It was so fun meeting the people today, Saturday. Mm-hmm. I had like just gone to lunch and Mr. Chris called and he was like, Get out of here. Hey, are you far? And I was like, No, I'm just walking to Heights Taco. He's like, Well, come back. <laughs> exactly. So we have a lot of people asking, Are these for a specific customer or for the cooler? For the, well, they're for orders that are going out on delivery. We'll move that one around right to there. But they are part of our website collection. Or called this is called Autumn Leaves. So, bada bing, bada boom. I think we're done. So how do you change an arrangement in water like this? Change water in an arrangement like this? I really don't, I just add more water to it. I mean, you could pick it up like that and take a pair of cutters and cut it across, change the water out. But let's be realistic, who's gonna do that? I'm True. sure some people do, but I'm just saying in general, as long as you're adding fresh water, that's, to me, most of the battle. So, anyway, I think we're good. So, I hope y'all enjoyed our happy today. We will see you Wednesday. We got to go hang some more lights so we can get this job finished. And tomorrow's another day, right? So, anyway, y'all have a blessed evening, and we'll see you Wednesday. Thanks. Bye.